Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you four different ways of altering melody loops and samples so that they sound more unique and creative. So if you're in a situation where you really like a sample or a loop, but you don't want it to sound like everyone else and you want to make it sound more unique and original, here are some very simple things you can do specifically in Ableton that's going to help you achieve that very quickly. So let's dive in. So I have this sample pulled up. It's by Cymatics. And this is what it sounds like so far. So that's already awesome. So let's see what we can do. The first thing we can do is very simply just change the pitch. We can simply transpose we can bring it up or down. I usually like to bring it down. I'll start off by bringing it down two semitones and let's just see how that sounds. Maybe four. Sure, that's fine. So we'll transpose it down. Another thing you can do is also reverse. So we can transpose it and now we can actually right click and we can reverse the clip or simply just press R. Let's see how this sounds now. Awesome. So that already sounds a lot different now. And on top of this, we can also change the speed, right? So this is the third way of changing things. I'm going to slow this down. Let's bring it down to like 73 BPM. Let's see how that sounds. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. So there you go. Three simple tricks that we've done so far. We changed the pitch, we reversed it, and we changed the speed. The fourth technique that we can do is something called splice. So we can simply just create a MIDI track. We can load the melody loop into the MIDI. It's going to show up on our sampler. And we can actually turn on slice mode. We can select beat. So it's slicing by beats. And now we can basically play different parts of the sample in whatever order we wish using our MIDI controller. You can obviously change how you want it to subdivide you can do it by bars. You can even choose it by transients, right? I usually do beats. Quarter note is usually good. And you can also, like I said, you can also transpose it over here too. Let's bring it down four semitones. Let's also reverse the sample. We can do all the same things that we did. We can turn on warp mode so it plays to the tempo that we set. And boom. I actually really like that, so let's just record that. I'm going to mute what I did here and we're going to record the splice version. And there you go. That's four ways to take any melody loop or sample and to flip it so that it sounds more unique and original. So this is the original version just to show you where we came from. And this is where we ended up. So I hope that was helpful. I hope this speeds up your workflow and helps you find more inspiration a lot easier and faster. And try this out. Let me know how it goes. If you want some more one-on-one -on -one personalized guidance, you can always click the link in the description and you and I can talk together one-on-one -on -one to assess the situation and see how we can reach your goals. So thanks for watching. Until next time.